Breaking news all revealed. Senators, policemen, masterminding shootings in Eboi in the name of IPOB, putting the name of IPOB as a bad group. We tell you sincerely, most of the things that have been going on, IPOB will tell you we are not the one carrying out these activities. But you know the funniest thing? This is David Umay himself who is saying, you know, that politicians in the states, he says PDP, according to him, policemen, um, you know, others are coming into the states to carry out evil atrocities, shooting and killing people and saying that, you know, it's IPOB. IPOB has become a safe haven for them. Anybody commits a crime, who did it? IPOB. Before you say, who are the unknown gunmen? IPOB. With this very name of IPOB, they've gone ahead now to take a lot of Igbo sons and daughters who have not committed any crime. By the way, it is the governor himself that is saying it. Governor David, he said, listen, what is going on in Ebony State and some part of the Southeast is not the IPOB. It's not IPOB. It is politicians, senators, policemen, you know, military personnel, armies that are masterminding the shootings and naming IPOB as the culprit. Can you see how God is vindicating IPOB? Let's get all the details. The governor of Ebony State, David Umayi, has accused the People's Democratic Party, the Nigerian police, the Nigerian army of carrying out shootings in his state and unidentified senators, public officers in terms of politicians addressing a congregation during a church service, during a church service at a chapel in the government house in Abakaleke, the governor said, these are the people carrying out the activities and saying it is unknown gunmen. There is no unknown gunmen anywhere. They carry out wicked activities and name IPOB and call them the reason for the atrocities going on. In fact, IPOB is only fighting for their right and nobody can say IPOB are a destructive group. They are not. Thank God, the governor said, for a successful visit of President Muhammad Buhari last week, said the shooting report reported why President Muhammad Buhari was on ground was not carried out by the indigenous people of Biafra. They were in support. They gave a statement before Buhari came, assured me they have nothing to do with Buhari's coming or going. They only want Onandi Kano release. According to him, members of the opposition party and talks of, a sit talks of sitting senators who Nigerian police and military are the ones responsible for the shooting. Daily Post record that they were paramedium at the Eboin State House People Democratic Party PDP Secretariat on Tuesday following heavy field out of unidentified gunmen operating alongside the busy Emogo Abakaliki Expressway. The governor stated there there was shooting around the secretariat for the there they have been shooting around the secretariat for the past two weeks to prevent the president from coming, but vowing that he will seal off facilities there if another shooting continue. He said there have been several questions as to why there was no announcement of IPOB about the president coming. The answer is that I don't know. Refer, we refer the matter to God. Everything worked out perfectly well, and that could only come through fasting and praying. There was a report of shooting and the shooting was done by the People's Democratic Party, Nigerian Army, who are working with them and military personnel. All the shootings and evil going on in the state has nothing to do with IPOB. They have no business. All their cry and want is that Unandi Kano be released. Some people have found their name as a convenient excuse for every evil atrocity they carry out. So this is what is happening right now. It is David Humai himself who is saying that, you know, President Muhammad Buhari visited his state and uh, was welcome. However, some things happened that we don't want to go into memory lane and back in history. Very unfortunate. Some leaders in a born state, okay, elders, traditional rulers, were locked out of meeting with President Muhammad Buhari. 
unacceptable, not right, but that is not the bone of contention right now. Who is Buhari? A man that Nigerians elected and put in office. The least he can do is to honor the traditional leaders and allow them come in and participate in the meeting, perhaps ask one or two questions. However, pictures, videos emerge of these very men locked outside. If your father if reverse was the case and Buhari was locked out, how would you feel in life? Never treat another person the way you don't want to be treated. Is a note of caution and warning. Anyway, moving from there, look at what happened. The governor himself said, IPOB are not the unknown gunmen or those carrying out atrocity. Again, let's look at this scenario. No sane man, all things being equal, mentally, you know, everything being equal, fine, will go ahead and begin to destroy his father's house or his own house. All things being equal, no sane person in his right, right mind, okay? All things being equal, again, like I said, we go ahead and use his own hands to begin to destroy his own property. No sane person will do that. So, the recently, oh, I mean, if a cock, you know, cock is the may of, you know, uh, chickens, right? If a cock lay an egg, they will say, ah, it's IPOB, oh, ah, it's IPOB. My dear, IPOB even have no, in fact, they've not been there in the past two weeks. They will tell you it's IPOB. IPOB has become the little safe haven. You have people commit all forms of crime and atrocities and they find a safe haven and they hide there and call out IPOB name for every form of crime and atrocities being committed in the state. Well, it is coming from the mouth of a governor, the governor of a boy state himself, saying IPOB have no knowledge, no knowledge whatsoever of the things going on in the state. In fact, all they want, their quest and their request, is that Unandi Kanu be freed. That's all they want. That's all they clamor for. You know, IPOB have called off, you know, sit at home order. Yet, some people are using that same sit at home order, you know, to, to want to, uh, you know, tarnish their image and what have you. Recently, Garuba Shewu, Buhari's own aide, said, ah, he is very grateful that the United Kingdom has branded them, you know, this kind of people calling them terrorists. The United Kingdom, before you could say, within 24 hours, released a statement saying, we never, we don't see them as such in our country. In fact, they are being given asylum because we see that Nigerian government is oppressing them. You see? So the lies cannot continue to, con to, you know, to, 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 to expand because everybody can see clearly, truly speaking, where these all lies and where it's all stemming from and going to. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now.